The law and order organized crime crew member who was shot and killed earlier this week leaves behind six children. And now the law firm that's representing his estate has set up a GoFundMe page to help benefit the late crew member's children. According to the GoFundMe page, the Grigoropoulos Law Group is representing Johnny Pizarro's estate and his family. The firm says that it created the GoFundMe page for the sole purpose of helping to provide financial support to his six beautiful children for their tremendous loss. Johnny left behind six six beautiful children whose names are being withheld to respect their privacy as they are minors and an amazing family. A description of the page reads, Words cannot describe the emptiness his family and dearest friends feel. He was the bright light and heart of so many lives and his memory will be eternal. The firm says all proceeds will be donated to Pizarro's children as well as towards his funeral and memorial expenses. As of this story's posting, the fundraiser has collected just over $25,000 of its $250,000 goal. The page features photos of Pizarro with his family and a schedule of upcoming memorial services. He's expected to be buried Tuesday in Brooklyn. In a statement to FATL, the New York Police Department said cops responded to a call of a person shot at approximately 5.15 a.m. in Brooklyn. Upon arrival, officers observed a 31-year-old male with multiple gunshot wounds to the head and neck. Cops say the man was unconscious and unresponsive. He was transported to a nearby hospital, where he was pronounced dead. So far, no arrests have been made, and the investigation is ongoing. According to multiple reports, Pizarro was part of the set's security and parking enforcement team. He had arrived on location and was sitting in his car when the assailant opened the door and began firing. At this point it's unclear if the assailant had any connection with the crew member, who was reportedly employed by a private company that was contracted by the production. In a statement to FATL, NBC said, we were terribly saddened and shocked to hear that one of our crew members was the victim of a crime early this morning and has died as a result. We are working with local law enforcement as they continue to investigate. Our hearts go out to his family and friends and we ask that you respect their privacy during this time. The statement continued. We don't have any additional information to share or confirm at this point.